Hello everyone, this is Mimi from Mimi's Crafty Shop. Uh, this is part two of my altar file folders for, for the fall time of the year and um, also my little journal. I wanted to quickly go over uh, the kits that I use for this. This is gonna make me have junk, junk with Steph, the Autumn Inspiration, um, probably Graphic uh, Fairy, and My Porch Prints, um, TLC Creates, um, Creative Muse, and Vintage by Me. Uh, this is just so yummy, y'all. I have to say so myself. I love the colors because I love blue. And uh, you can see my nails. Oh, goodness. They're kind of a... They pick up the colors of whatever I'm doing. I just love them. They're a chrome color. But um, anyway, this journal here is just so pretty. I mean, this altered file folder. I, I really love the way it turned out. It says, Fall in Love. And I have used this really pretty felt um, blue flower on there. And it's kind of a, it's nearly like a teal, turquoisey color. And I added this yumminess down here, a little bit of um, some of the snippets I like to make up. Uh, this is a leaf that I made uh, using uh, Graphic Fairy, uh, My Porch Prints. And uh, it's a pocket and it's got all kinds of yummy goodness stuff in here. And also, I used, uh, oh my gosh, I didn't write it down. Uh, it was, uh, mint, oh gosh, I'm going to have to look that up, just a second. Okay, I found the, this come off one of the, the scrap of paper. It's Cozy Evening uh, Mente uh, Scrap of Paper. I love this because I love the little animals in here. So, so cute. Um, if you've never gotten Mente, you need to try out their scrapbook paper. It's just just gorgeous. It's different, that's what I like about it. Uh, so a lot of that is in here. Um, this right here on the back side, I used Miss um, Cox Crafts. She has um, some autumn pictures and I layered it with this um, the, um, dually that I had taken, used those mist and sprays on and some corrugated paper there. And then that is from Prima Marketing. Uh, Frank Garcia last year uh, and here is a little uh, tassel I made and dangle and it's got this it says fall in love of fall and uh, I this is one of those coin things that we're using everybody is it's on a bull clip and a little um, bulb pin and also I have these really cute little if you can see them they're little uh, like that's a leaf, and then here is Mr. Fawn, Bambi, I call him. Those were actually some little um, um, buttons that I got from Hobby Lobby, I mean not Hobby Lobby, um, Walmart, and they had them in, the, in their holiday section, so they had some for like Halloween, Thanksgiving and Christmas. So if you want to go get them, I think it was like $1.97 for, you got about seven or eight different ones and they're really cute to put on your signatures. Okay, so this is my altar file folder here and um, it lifts up. So I'm gonna kind of show it in sections. Um, I love, I, this is one of my most favorite pictures of all times. Um, I love red hair and I love this little girl. I think she's so cute. And I sewed this, put this pocket on here and it's just full of yummy goodness. Uh, these are actually, I put these little index cards in there in case you wanted to, um, you know, put some recipes on there or just write some stuff about your holidays. And then these are just tags that I backed. Um, this is probably uh, Creative Musing Digitals. I think that's who I got that from. And then this is more of the premium marketing, which I love that. And you can see where I had lace dyed this uh, file folder, which was fun to do. And it did really well. I was pleasantly surprised at how well it did. Turn that over. But these file folders, uh, I had, they are so much fun to make, okay? Here is the Mente and um, Cozy Evening. I made two flip pockets out of that, okay? Because, you know, it was, their stuff is, let me pull this in a little bit. 
their stuff is it was kind of big, you know, and so you kind of have to decide what are you going to use. So I decided just to make some flips out of them. This is Vintage by Me. She has absolutely beautiful um, visual paper that she takes and does collages on, and I love those owls and pumpkins. And I made a little pocket over here using these leaves, and look, this is, aren't these adorable? I love these. And I mean, you can write on the back of them or add pictures if you wanted to of your family. It's just such cute ideas. And I like the way this pocket is, you know, I, I mean, that adding the leaves and then sewing that little circle on there, that turned out really cute. Here's this one over here. I did the same thing, just made a little pocket, added these on there. And I just did a collage up on this one. I took a circle um, and just added things to it, so. That was fun too. But anyway, I love flips. Aren't those cute? And on the sides here, you can take where I, you can see where I took and um, added this uh, um, scrap of paper, uh, the cardstock, and made a expandable folder out of it. And I like the little touch of blue there. I thought that turned out really neat because it just brought out the blue in it. And here is, I take that bulldog clip off, and I have two more flip outs. <clears throat> so similar to my last one that I, I showed on my previous, I made little pockets here using, um, this is um, authentic, um, their scrapbook paper that has the calendar months on it, and I just made like a little pocket and just put some scrapbook paper behind it. And then here, I love this picture and that little girl with the blue dress on. And this is Artemis here. So those little side pockets are cute. And I have a flip out here. Here is another one of those old trucks and it's in the blue. And then this came with the Stephanie's kit. So I did a flip up where you can write on that. And then another little pocket, side pocket um, I did here. It actually flips up and Beautiful paper there and then just a little pocket here um, this is something I made up and that's my porch prints and then this envelope here with let's see what I got in here oh yeah that's so pretty what I liked about this kit here that I got from um, Stephanie is you could really use this kit uh, for other things and also I put that in there it wouldn't have to be just for fall. So, you know, it can be used in other, some of it is and some of it's not. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I don't know why when I get on the, on here, my throat gets all crazy. <clears throat> it says jumping in the, in the leaves, which we all probably have done that. And that's just a flip out there. And see that little door? I cut that out and I added these little, it looks made, made it look like a door. I had these stickers and I thought, well, let's be a little creative here and make a little door to really look like a door. And that flips out too. Let me pull it over here. And there's my little beagle. I just love, this what made me fall in love with this kit uh, from Vente was the beagle. Um, my husband had a beagle when I first got with him, um, Jasper, and I absolutely loved him. It says, Autumn is love. He was the sweetest dog, and unfortunately, he's no longer with us. Um, he got old and went to doggy heaven, but we do miss him. He was the best dog. And then here, I just, this right here is, it's like a little, you could spin it around, but it actually comes out. So again, this is that mente, and you could use this on something else. I just, I don't know, something about that. I said, oh, that reminds me, something just, you, go around and around and around. So you can, I just try to make it fit in there pretty good. And here is another little collage pocket I made up. And I just sewed all that together on that bingo card and added that little sorry silk um, bow there. And then this is more things you can write on. Love those owls. And then to-do list. And then on the back here, I wanna show you this. This is beautiful napkin. I, I recently bought that at, um, um, craft mall and I took and put it on that freezer paper and it just feels really good y'all. If you haven't tried the freezer um, technique, freezer paper technique with your napkins, 
All you gotta do is iron it on and it sticks right to it. Um, my mom sent me um, a video on that and I, I'm i sorry, I can't tell you who it was, was but uh, it is very easy to do, so. And see this right here, you can fold up. Let me bring that back out. It could even be folded like this or you can fold it like that, okay? And then I just have that bull clip there to kind of keep it down, so. All right, so let's look inside. I have this full of stuff, okay? There is, I'm gonna take it all out. There is this really pretty tag that I made up and I showed a little video on that. And um, it was, I made this out of um, file folder and then made my own little, uh, um, tag out of it and then this is a glassing envelope and I took and stamped on it some script and put some uh, napkin on there and on the front the same thing in that little tag isn't that cute I love that and then here is this little card I had of uh, this is little women um, graphic 45. I had a bunch of those that I had gotten from Tuesday morning and I wanted to start using them because um, you know how you get that that has like 20 of the same paper in there. Well, and this here is um, a little book I made up. It's kind of like a I made it up using this really pretty brown cardstock and I actually embossed on it and added this really pretty picture here. I love this. You know, you could take and put small pictures right there. I thought it would be cute. I sewed that on there. And then it's just got little tidbits of leftovers that I had. Scrapbook paper, just some little digitals and um, paper I teed out up. And so I just wanted to share that with you too. I'm going to be adding this to it. It's another place you could put some little fun stuff in there that's stuck down in here. I haven't yet to make a Little Women's uh, journal yet, so I said I'm going to start using it. Okay, this little um, journal here is um, got removable signatures in it uh, with the elastic here, you can tell. And I put some little pretty uh, chipboard leaves on the front. It says Quietness, Serenity, Harmony, and a, just um, canvas and sewed it on and heat bond on the back and then sewed these little part of the kit. And this is that sorry silk again on the, on the closure. And these are uh, D rings that I used for the closure. Um, I got these from Amazon and they are so easy to use and you can use these for on um, pages, um, just all kinds of stuff. Hang, um, say you wanted to hang Put this on a page and hang this off of it you could do that so these are really versatile you can use these a lot of different ways um, there was a lady that um, I got bought a journal from that was using them um, Kathy um, she really she's the one that got me to doing it okay here is a little pocket from Tim Holtz that little layered pocket that's got a bunch of goodies in there let me pull this back in and a little pumpkin it says pumpkin patch and then that beautiful mente paper. I put a little chipboard leaf there and this is a little small envelope. Oh, I didn't put nothing in there. Oh my goodness, well I'll do that. I'll have to put something in that. It's this farmer's market. I'll try to get through this pretty fast. You know, there's a lot of space to write on, put pictures. Love this paper. Got that, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. That's some vintage paper. Um, Paper there that mat from a magazine that I had. Just loads of stuff. That's like a little side pocket right here. Just a little collage there on the envelope. Be thankful and just blessed. A pump, blue pumpkin. It's a little tuck up that way. A journaling card with the little fall scene. I just love this right here. Isn't that cute? And that reminds me of the 40s. Um, 
Oh, I can't think of the guy's name. That's what it reminds me of. Uh, Norman Rockwell, is that his name, Norman Rockwell? Yeah, I think so. Well, anyway, he did a lot of pictures and that reminds me of uh, him. I don't know if that is his. Envelope, a little tuck in there, lined it, sewed that on. A little, isn't that pretty? I tell you what, I'm amazed at the digitals that people make. They're just fabulous. I mean, I started journaling about, oh, it's probably been about five years now. And and the journal, the, the digitals have really knocked it out of the park. I mean, they're just, just amazes me. I thought I was gonna make digitals one time and um, that didn't happen. Uh, I never could learn how to use um, Adobe Photoshop. I mean, it's just way too complicated for me. So kudos to all the women and men that do the digitals because I, it was way too hard for me to do it. And I, it's, I'm sure it's time consuming. Okay, these are one of those envelopes that you get, floral envelopes uh, that come on flowers. And of course, I've stained it up. And it says, life is full of give and take, give thanks and take nothing for granted. That's for sure, because, you know, we tend to take a lot for granted here in America. You know, we, we have um, our freedom. We're able to um, worship and do whatever. And, you know, things are just kind of been crazy lately, but I, I still believe in that, you know. And I love this picture here, that old little wood stove. But this Mente's um, paper is just gorgeous. And I did a little pop on that with one of those um, adhesive stickers in the back. Some more writing, and there's that girl, I love her. And then this I thought was cute because Mr. Owl was there, so I just did a little play of putting that owl on there with some leaves, just layered it. I'm fixing to start work on my Christmas, and isn't that pretty? I bought, I think it's Frank Garcia um, Christmas sugars and cookies or something maybe. I'm not for sure. Oh, and that truck so pretty. I want me an old blue truck. This is just a little bag that I took and cut the edge, you know, the sides off of it and made pockets out of it. Memories. And um, I'm looking forward to making um, an altar file folder and a little journal. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do again because I just find it so much fun. It's It kind of takes in everything I like to do and puts it into one project. So I get to do a lot of different things with it. Oh, and here's Mr. Um, Mr. Beagle again. I'm going to call him Jasper because that was the name of our dog. And I just put like a little pocket there with this little pumpkins. And then in here is, an, I gotta put a tag on that. Such a cute little journaling card. Did I get that? No, I didn't put that on there. And then this is some vintage paper that's got some scrapbook um, recipes on it. And I just put those stickers on there because I like them. I think I got them from Walmart. Another one of those tags that I lined and sewed around. And it's just really, really pretty. Lots of space in here to do some journaling and put pictures. All those lovely blankets. Okay, one more spot if I can get it turned. And another one of those pockets. These are so much fun. I love these. I just recently bought this die cut, um, and there's the old tiny camera, and I love it. I love using it in my these little journals. So it says pies, jams, and jellies. Okay, so uh, again, this will be for sale in my Etsy store if you're interested in it or want it. Um, take a look and um, see if I can pull this back out a little bit. I can get my thing. It's like going in the opposite direction. Sometimes my fingers don't want to work right. Ah. Well, I can't get it to cooperate.
So sorry, y'all. Uh, and when you put it all back together, I just wanted to sh show you how you can stick everything in here, even the big, the journal that I made. It just all fits in here. So you could, um, if you wanted to display this with your um, with your fall decorations, it would be super cute to put out. Uh, I always decorate for this all the seasons, so this would be really cute to you know to to put out. So another thought. Well, anyway, here is this journal and um, altar file folder, and I've had so much fun making all this. And like I said, if you're interested, check out my Etsy store, Minnie's Crafty Shop, and I will have this for sale, and um, you can be yours. So y'all have a blessed Thanksgiving and a um, safe one, too, and hopefully you'll get to spend it with your family. Thank y'all.